Cheers. We're inside one minute. Thank you. Thank you. Inspiration four is go for launch. Punch it, SpaceX. Commander calling down. Seconds. Punch it, SpaceX. T-minus 15 seconds. Vehicles pitching downrange. Stage long propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds. Callouts indicate nominal. Historic mission flying the Inspiration 4 crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Lake Neal with the crew in the council. We're into the throttle down, into the throttle bucket. Stage one throttle down. Throttling down. Throttling down in preparation for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. And then the flight. Nine, it's supersonic. Max Stage Q. one, throttle up. We're through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Copy, We're one throttled Bravo. back up and one Bravo, the call out from space. That's one of the abort sequences. That is a nominal call. Everything continues to be good. Looks like a smooth ride for the crew. Right, SpaceX has launched four civilians to space. SpaceX web feed now confirming that it looks like a smooth ride for the crew. But of course, we have to remind our viewers that the feed that we're getting right now, it's a few seconds delayed. So let's go straight back to Ed Latlow, who's actually seeing this live. Ed, just walk us through what's happening right now. Yeah, incredible feeling here on the ground. You hear the people around me, the roar as the nine Merlin engines fired up, lifting it to that moment of max Q after 60 seconds, the moment of max mechanical stress on the rocket. And now I know your feed's a little bit behind, but what we're looking for next is first stage main engine cutoff where each of those nine engines shut down. You'll see it on your screen any second now, but it continues using its momentum going towards uh, outer space. Astonishing to say that out loud, given the context of who is sitting inside Crew Dragon. The next milestone to look for after that, of course, is first and second stage separation. The Falcon 9 rocket booster is made of two parts. The long, thin part with that initial thrust will drop off. You'll see that on your screen now. There you go. Incredible images that you guys have slightly behind here. The rocket's actually now creating an incredible glow in the sky behind me. Incredible aura kind of glow that I wish you, you guys could see. But we'll focus on the live feed. And now we have a period of about five minutes where you get that second stage engine firing up. You're seeing that on your screen now, and it carries on up, up and up towards its initial height before that final stage separation where the Dragon capsule will separate itself and carry on on its journey, guys. God, I'm out of breath. This is... <laughs> We're as excited <laughs> as you are. <laughs> It is truly extraordinary. The crew officially on their way to space. And uh, Ed, you mentioned it, of course, very early on, you get that max Q, that point of maximum pressure on the mechanics, on the rocket, right, in terms of the stress. What other pressure points, key points, are we watching out for in terms of, you know, judging the, the, the success and also the safety of this flight? Yeah, remember that that initial launch takes you through Earth's atmosphere, right, which is simply thicker. And as you get into sort of thinner, higher atmosphere, then you're actually able to rev up the engines and build up the speed. And remember, when they do hit a top speed, it will be of 17,500 miles an hour. I mean, 
you, if you've only ever driven a car, even if you've been in a race car, you can't even begin to comprehend the G-forces that the body is under. There's another notable milestone coming up, of, of course, guys, which is that the first stage booster is currently making its way back down to Earth, remember, and at about seven minutes and 30 seconds after launch it will give its first stage entry burn you'll see that on your screen and remember this is how spacex has changed the game changed the economics of human spaceflight because that reusability means that we can go again and again it means that it is now affordable for humans to go into space civilians to go into space and that's one thing we'll be watching for on our screens